Hello everyone, here's a question from exercise 8.2. This is the simple chapter of class 6, first question. Now this is a new syllabus which has changed. So the question is express as a rupees using decimal. So we have to convert this paise into rupees and we have to find the answer. Now before we convert this, remember 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. Fine. So when you're converting paise to rupees, like you're converting a smaller unit to a higher unit, a bigger unit. So whenever you convert a smaller to a bigger unit, then you have to divide. Now with what number we divide? We want to divide this with 100 because 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So when you're dividing it, you have to divide by 100 here. So let's have the first question. So the first one we have is 5 paise. So we have to convert this into rupees. Like I said before, 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So we have to divide this by 100. So this is equal to 5 by 100. And this will be rupees. When you're dividing it, just put the rupees rupee sign here. So this is equal to. Now you have learned in your lower classes how to convert this into decimal. Whenever you have a 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 in the denominator, you have to just count the zeros and then you have to put the decimal point from the right side. That is from the extreme end of the number, you have to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So it will be rupees. Now we have a 5. There are two zeros, right? So after two places you have to put decimal from the right side that is from here you have to start when you place a decimal so there's only one number we want two numbers right two places we want here so i'm going to use a zero here now you can see we have a two numbers one and two five and zero and now i'm going to put decimal point and then zero that is 0 0.05 rupees that's it then the next one so it's very important how to place a decimal point we have to just count number of zeros in the denominator and this technique is only applicable when you have a 10 hundred thousand ten thousand those numbers in the denominator count that many zeros just count how many zeros are there and you have to put the decimal point from the extreme end that is from the right side after that many places so the second question is we have 75 paise now same thing when you're converting paise into rupees so you have to divide so it will be rupees 75 divided by 100 now again we have a two zeros in the denominator so when you convert it from the right side you have to place so 5 and then 7 i'll put point that is the decimal and then zero from the right side you have to count that many number of places the next question 20 paise it's same thing when you convert it you have to divide this by 100 smaller to higher unit when you do it you have to divide by 100 so 20 divide by 100 so again we have a 2 0 it's like a previous question so after two places that is 0 then 2 then put decimal point and then 0 so it is 20 paise then the next question now this we have a 50 rupees and 90 paise so 50 rupees and 90 paise so what we're going to do here is we will not going to touch this rupees because it already converted into rupees so we have to just convert this 90 paise it is like 50 rupees plus 90 paise right so we're going to convert this paise into rupees so when you convert this 90 paise into rupees you have to divide by 100 so this 90 paise will be equal to 90 divided by 100 rupees so when you convert this it will be equal to from right side you have to put decimal point so it will be 0 9 put decimal point and then 0 it is 0 0.90 now you have to again add up we have 50 rupees and we have a 9 0 0.90 rupees we have to just add them so this is equal to so in the beginning i have written here 50 rupees 90 paise this 90 paise we have converted into rupees it is 0 0.90 rupees so 50 rupees plus 0 0.90 rupees when you add it 50 and 0 0.90 it will be 50.90 rupees so whenever you have this type of question just convert only paise keep the rupees and then at the end you just add them the next question this is last one 725 paise 
we have to convert this into rupees so when you convert this it will be 725 divided by 100 now we have two zeros in the denominator so from right side you have to put decimal point after two places so 5 then 2 then put decimal and then we have 7 so it is 7 rupees 25 paise so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching